To access a lot of the Zoom settings, you need to go to the Zoom website. So open a new tab and type in zoom.us and it takes you to the Zoom website. Next you want to sign in, so click sign in over here and you want to come in and sign in with Google. Don't type in your credentials here, sign in with Google and this will sign in with your institution's email account. The first thing we want to do is change the URL. So you want to come up here to the thumbnail of yourself and click view prof profile and after you do that you can see here what your personal link is. You want to customize that personal link. So this one I'm going to change to M Norris and I'm going to save changes. Now it says that M Norris is already taken globally but that's okay because we're just using it at NIST with our NIST URL here. So I'm going to save anyway. I'm going to copy that URL and that's now the URL that anybody can join my meetings with. Over here in meetings, in the meetings section, I want to come to personal meeting room. And once I click that and scroll down, I need to change some of these settings. So if I click edit this meeting and I scroll right to the bottom, I don't want to enable join before host because I want to accept the people that are coming into my Zoom chat. But I do want to enable a waiting room. So if people are joining my Zoom meeting before I've started Zoom, they'll be put in a waiting room and told to wait until I start. And I do want to authenticate the users. So I only want users of my institution, NIST, to be able to join my meeting. And then I'm going to save this. Next up, we want to open the Zoom app. So when I open the Zoom app, underneath start a new meeting is a drop down. And I want to make sure that these two options are ticked. Use my personal meeting ID and start with video. If they're both ticked and I start a new meeting, once the meeting loads up and gets going, I can see down here in manage participants if people are in my meeting room, waiting room or not. So I have some people that I know are waiting in my waiting room and I just need Zoom to be able to load for them to pop up. So you can see here I have somebody waiting. I could admit them or I can remove them. If you have more than one user that are waiting, you can click admit all and it admits everybody in that list to save you time of clicking each individual person.